Hi everyone, Singing Sarah here from Sunflower Music with this week's Sing and Rhyme Story Time. Let's get started. Clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello. No matter what the weather. Wave everybody and say See if you can touch it with your hands. Head, shoulders. That one can be a little tricky one. These are our shoulders. Knees and toes. <gasps> My toes are all the way down there. Do you know that's a song? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Let's sing it. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. You guys think you can do that while I play guitar? I think you can. We'll start it out nice and slow. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. A little bit faster. Keep up. I'm going to put this to the side. Now let's think. What 
one of those body parts is where I wear glasses. So I wear glasses on my knees, right? No. I wear glasses on my shoulders. No. What on the head? Well, yeah, on your head, Sarah, but what part of your head? I wear them on my eyes. Can you find glasses and put them on? You got regular glasses, or you can put on your fancy glasses, or you couldn't put on your super fancy glasses. Whatever you want to put on. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up a book and I read, read, read and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and zoop, close up the book. This is a song by Lori Berkner. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up a book. And I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and zoop, close up the book. And now we're going to look inside the book and see what we see. I see a bee. The bee must have seen that I have flowers on my shirt and it wants to pollinate them. I'm going to close it up. Zoop. What's in your book? Take a look. <gasps> it's a dinosaur! It's so big! Okay, one more time. Let's see. Ooh. I see letters. And that's what's going to be in our book today. Ready? We're going to sit down and read that book. Everybody sit down, sit down, sit down. Everybody sit down, sit down now. Every book has letters in it, but this book, the letters are the main characters of it. So let's check it out. You might have this at your house. This is a classic. This is Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. That is the title. The authors are Bill Martin Jr. and John Archambault. Authors, authors, what do you do? I write the words in the book for you. The illustrator is Lois Ehlert. Illustrator, illustrator, what do you do? I draw the pictures in the book for you. Oh, there they are, all our letters and all our characters. And we're gonna see the lowercase letters first. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. And I would love if you could help me keep a beat to this story. So I can only use one hand, but I bet you could use two hands to pat your lap. Can you try that with me? Very nice. A told B and B told C. I'll meet you at the top of the coconut tree. B said D to E F G. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Will there be enough room? Here comes H up the coconut tree, and I and J and tag along K, all on their way up the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom, will there be enough room? Look who's coming, L-M-N-O-P, and Q-R-S, and T-U-V, and still more W and X-Y-Z. The whole alphabet up the... Oh no! Chicka, chicka! Boom, boom! <gasps> they fell! Hmm. Skip, scat, scoodle, do, flip, flop, flee. Everybody running to the coconut tree. Mamas and papas and uncles and aunts. Hug their little dears and dust their pants. Oh, it's the it's the grown-ups, the the uppercase letters. Help us up, cried A B C. Next from the pile up skinny D and stubbed toe E and patched up F. Then comes 
comes G all out of breath. H is tangled up with I, J and K are about to cry, L is knotted like a tie. M is looped, N is stooped, O is twisted, alley oop, skip, scat, scoodle doop, flip flop, flee. Look who's coming, it's black I, P, Q, R, S, N, loose tooth, T. Then U, V, W, wiggle, jiggle, free. Last to come, X, Y, Z, and the sun goes down on the coconut tree. But, chicka, chicka, boom, boom, look, there's a full moon. A is out of bed, and this is what he said. Dare, double dare, you can't catch me. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. The end. What do you think is going to happen if they all go back up the coconut tree? I think they're all going to bend it and they're going to fall out again. The end. It is mystery tune time. Remember, a mystery tune is when I play a song, but I don't sing the words, and you have to guess what it is. That's the mystery. What song is it? And I like to play my mystery tunes on my glockenspiel. The glockenspiel has bars that are made out of metal, and the xylophone has bars that are made out of wood. So the glockenspiel is a little bit louder. Okay, big hint. This song is related to the book that we just read. So let's see if you can guess what it is. What do you think? I'll tell you what, there's more than one right answer. But the song I was thinking was A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C. If you guessed Twinkle Little Star, that was right too. If you guessed Ba Ba Black Sheep, that was right too. They all have the same melody, just a little bit of little differences in the rhythm. But we are going to do our ABCs for our next song. I would love if you could find a drum or some sticks, or if you have your own ukulele or guitar and you want to play along with me, we're going to do a very silly song using the alphabet. Ready? This is called There's a Dog in School. There's a dog in school. Oh no. What are we going to do? As long as there's a dog in school, he'll have to learn the alphabet too. Well, we just sang our alphabet the way we sing it, but how Let's see what else is in school. There's a captain's 
one more. time is coming to an end doesn't mean you don't you have to stop singing that song I would love to hear what versions you come up with what kind of animals are going to your school and learning the alphabet and that song is FYI from handwriting without tears which is a really great curriculum about learning to draw write your letters all right guys we are going to have to sing goodbye for today but I'll see you again next week Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, my friends. Music was fun today. I'll see you soon again.